Commonly, it is known as staff riding or train surfing. Daring youngsters hop onto the roofs of trains or hang onto the railings while the train is in transit. As dangerous as it is, it is also illegal and punishable with fines. However, many die before being caught. 27-year-old Sepo Mazabuko spent his early adolescence bunking school to take up the death-defying sport of train surfing. And most days you would find him trying to balance atop a moving train while dodging 3,000 volt power lines. We are playing stuff riding because of girls, just for, to be famous. We are just being young, you know, if you are young, you must do something, many things to be stubborn, you see. Nicknamed the Scorpion, Mazabuko had almost lost his life for the thrill of a staff ride. I was on top of the train from Pumulong to Pefin. I was drunk that, that day. Then the cable hit me. Then I fell on top of the train. I just slept on top of the train. But Mazabuka says he was not afraid to die. Not even the deaths of several friends through train surfing accidents could keep him off the tracks. That time, I was, I was, I was happiness. You see, even if you lose a friend, maybe, she, maybe he died on Monday. On Friday, you are doing memorial service on top of the train. Staff riding is now even considered a sport in some parts of the world and is popular amongst youngsters who feel powerful when they're doing something dangerous and, of course, breaking the law. South African passenger rail agency Prasa has been trying for years now to stop it. It's now adopted a new approach to deter youngsters from riding on trains through a program that makes them safety ambassadors with the rail network. They go out there to spot because they've been the train surfers. They can spot a train surfer unlike me. When they look at them and say, look, it's not cool to do a train surfing, the youngsters tend to get the message better from them than us. It took several years before Mazabuko hung up his train surfing moves to become a rail safety ambassador. The rail agency says ambassadors have helped to reduce train surfing by at least 60 percent. But Mazabuko says it's often difficult. They must stop playing stuff riding, but I, they refuse because if, if you talk to them now, they, tomorrow they will do it again. And even me, I was like that also. Apart from the many deaths being recorded, train surfing accidents also cost Prasa thousands of dollars every year. They disrupt train services and often train drivers need to take trauma leave for up to six months. I just heard people screaming on the platform around me and I thought something, something is wrong. I just saw the guy on the roof of the train. It was all like charcoal and smoke coming out of his body. It was, it was not nice to see that. For the families of train surfers, many are not even aware of their children's activities until it's too late. While the ambassador program is yielding some results, Prasa is on an ongoing campaign to educate youngsters about the dangers of train surfing. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg.